Hey guys, it's uh, Ryan here with DP Marketing Services. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, coming at you with a little video. Um, something a lot of guys don't know. So this one's a little bit weird, a little bit technical uh, about an idea, something called review gating. Whoops, sorry. Let me get me back in the frame. So um, if you've if you've been in trades for a while, you've probably used different tools uh, to help get more Google reviews. If you watch our videos for much, read our book, anything like that. Uh, you know, reviews are a huge deal. Um, so it makes sense to use tools to help make it easier for you to get reviews, right? Right. Okay, but here's where it gets fuzzy. Um, if you are, uh, let's say, a platform like Yelp, uh, I'm not knocking Yelp on this, right? This isn't one of those calls. Uh, the idea is uh, Yelp has their own guidelines on how they like to get their reviews. And so if you send somebody directly to a Yelp page, Yelp is probably gonna suspend the review. They're gonna say, hey, that's not legitimate because they want people to find you organically and all this nonsense. Um, on the other hand, uh, you have things like Google uh, where you, you wanna make it as easy as possible for Google reviews to be left, and it makes sense. So you probably use different tools. You might have a link on your website or send them an email or something. Uh, there's one of the most common ways we see if you use uh, a program like Podium or Review Buzz, or uh, I mean, there's dozens of these kind of review aggregators, um, they all kind of do the same thing. Um, and essentially what they do is they do what's called a review gate. Now, so a review gate, how that works, uh, you send a customer a link, they text on it, and you're like, hey, did you have a good experience? and the customer either goes like thumbs up or thumbs down, or they give you happy face or smiley face, something. Uh, they give some sort of response to give an idea of if they're happy or not. And if they're happy, you say, hey, great, we'll, uh, we'll pass you on to actually leave a review on Google or whatever. Um, or if they're not happy, it will catch it and say, oh, sorry, what can we do? And it'll like email it to a CSR person or somebody to follow up. Now, <clears throat> if you are, um, if you're a business owner, if you're a manager, that sounds awesome to you because it's like, okay, the only people who are gonna leave reviews are happy and the people who aren't happy will be able to know about blah, blah, blah. The problem is Google hates the crap out of that. Um, they actively will suspend accounts who they find use review getting. I don't actually think I can go this way. I'm gonna turn around. So if they find that you are gating your reviews and only letting, whoops, come back, sorry. I've got this new tripod thing and apparently I suck at it. <laughs> um, if they find that you're only letting happy customers leave reviews, uh, Google will eventually suspend your GMB listing. They'll start by like taking back all the reviews that they can trace down to it. Uh, and then one day you'll wake up and you'll have a suspension on your account. So, that is one of the biggest issues that we see when you use a tool like, uh, well, I'm not gonna say names, I'm not trying to knock up that point. Um, it's one of those issues that is really common to happen if you're using a review gate. It's not that those tools are inherently evil, um, I mean, they help you get reviews, but if they do it by gating, it can eventually bite you in the butt. Um, the tool that we personally use at DP uh, does not gate, so it, uh, it does prioritize to route the reviews to Google because, let's be honest, a Google review weighs more than a Facebook review, uh, but it doesn't gate, which means if the customers are pissed off, uh, they're going to leave a, a negative review. But we would much rather prefer uh, having honest reviews from all kinds of customers, showing how your business deals with even negative critiques, um, rather than you get in trouble because, hey, the only people who ever find you are happy, uh, and then you get suspended in the process. So uh, this is a little bit technical, but a lot of you guys, I know you watch this video, you're doing your research, you've got different software, different tools. Just when you're doing your investigation, you don't have to use Nearby Now, you don't have to call us, it doesn't, you just wanna know, like, is it gating? And if it's gating, you have, to, you have to recognize that that's the risk and then wonder well, if there's a way to disable it. There might not be. Um, and if not, is that worth it to you? Is it worth it to you to roll the dice, uh, lose your reviews that you got through a gated process, um, have Google suspended account? Um, I'm not saying it will happen, 
I'm just saying Google, when they do find out that you're using gated reviews, uh, yeah, they become the, uh, the cranky person in the room. Um, so hope this is helpful, a little bit different than normal, um, but I'd love to hear what you think. What software do you guys use um, to get your reviews? How's it working for you? Does it gate? Have you had any issues with uh, soft or hard suspensions um, by how you're doing it? So would love to know, leave a comment below. Um, follow us on Facebook. As always, subscribe on YouTube. And uh, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.